Alright chess fans, today I'm going to see if I can grind my way back up to 2000 uh, rapid. Last couple of games I've lost, um, dropped me down to about 1730 or so, got myself a little chai latte to push me through, and I'm going to go ahead and look for my first game. So, wish me luck. All right, got the black pieces. I'm gonna play the perk. I've been thinking I need to find a new weapon as black against E4. I've been playing the perk for a long time and I've gotten mixed results. So I think I need to find a better option here. Uh, oh, just so you know, I've got a new mic here. So if the sound is better than it has been, let me know. Um, I was hoping that this would uh, increase the sound quality here. So he's got a solid center. I think I need to counter in the center. Um, his pieces are over here. So I actually think I want to open up uh, this direction. two defenders, I have two attackers, uh, let's see, let's finish our development, right? Bishop here, queen moves, but then the bishop isn't doing anything. But I think I like it there anyway, because if he decides to try and attack it next move, um, it continues to weaken his king side, and I think that's good for me. So now, let's see. To get the queen off the back rank. And let's do that by... Let's see. To push here, we might go here. And then I can put my rooks either on the E file or maybe the F file. Think about opening that up. Queen will be pretty nice putting pressure along the long diagonal there. Okay, he doesn't like that. Let's retreat. Exchange if he wants. check anyway. Uh, bishop comes in. It's just going to chase it away. Um, now that his knight's not going to be a problem, let's pull the queen off and then get the rooks active. Depending on where his queen goes, I might be able to uh, attack the knight at some point by discover. That doesn't appear to be happening right now. Bring this one here. If he exchanges, I'll exchange the F pawn, I think, and that allows both rooks to be on open files. I think that's good for me. Let's see. 
I move the knight, it's not coming with a tempo. In exchange for the knight, the rook has to come over to take. That doesn't seem good though. Now if I just put the knight here, he might push and chase my knight back somewhere less useful. Um, let's go ahead, push here, keeps his queen out. If he takes, now I'll take with the F pawn and possibly retreat the bishop to support it. I am up a pawn, though I'm down on the clock. Chase the bishop back away. I don't think I like taking that knight for this bishop. This bishop is kind of holding everything together right now. This bishop and this knight is what I was talking about. here. Pawn pushes in some places, maybe here. Um, trying to think how I can get my queen more active in this position. I could try and bring the rook up and then double him. That might be a plan. He's given back all his extra time. Oh, he disconnected. Well, that's too bad. Well, I guess I get a default win. Got some of my rating points back, 1780. Um, let's go ahead and look for a new game. All right, we got black again. Let's go ahead and mirror for a second. And we're gonna head into a King's Indian. here or maybe I just break in the center his queen's over here so if I break in the center if I'm gonna break there knight on here would be helpful so let's do that let's do this first with this being the plan next okay rooks are connected I 
do this. He takes, I take, he takes, I take, he takes. And all I've done is trade a whole bunch of pieces and give myself a weakness here on d6, because then he has a half open file. So I don't think that's what I want to do. So let's think of a new plan. Uh, let's see. Queen's over here, not doing a whole lot. My queen's doing even less over here. Can I... He's got four defenders, the square is not mine. and expand on the clean side, see if I can gain a little bit of space to work. If he attacks, I'm just going to take. are going to have to find a way to get involved here. Yeah, we'll come back. square has three defenders and I have one, two, two attackers. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's be, no, I don't want to do that. So I was thinking if I go here, then I could have a nice uh, fork on these two pieces. Um, but what's actually going to happen is the minute I go here he's going to take this and my pawn structure is going to be messed up so that doesn't work for me uh, so i need to do something more intelligent can we gang up on this pawn one attack one defender one attacker can i add an extra not yet um, see. Let's just pull that out of the way. I'm actually not quite sure what to do right now. And usually that's when I make a blunder or I miss a win somehow is when I don't know what to do. But I'm trying not to lose on time. He's got two minutes on me. All right, so he's going for a break in the center. He's going to give up a pawn to do it. 
So let's go ahead and I will take, if he pushes, I'll take there. Uh, so he didn't give up a pawn. So let's see. He takes, I take, I push, he takes, I take, he takes, I'm in trouble. Alright, so let's just, let's go for this. Might not be great, but it'll at least give me a little bit of counterplay, and right now I desperately need some counterplay. So I'm actually still even, somehow. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, so he's got a double attack on this, I only have my queen defending, and he's attacking my queen. So my queen's got to move, and it's going to lose that pawn, basically no matter what I do. So, where can I go that I'm not going to lose extra material in this? Because um, if I go to these squares, any of these light squares, um, he'll end up forking my rook and my queen. So I can't go to those squares. And I don't want to go to either of these squares because he could take with the rook and then gain a tempo. Um, so basically my only option is to come here. And now when I move the rook, I think we'll end up exchanging rooks. He's up a pawn now. See where his bishop goes? Oh, doesn't go anywhere. He just wins uh, my knight. That might be my last blunder. Okay, that's going to do it. Yeah, that's going to do it. All right, I'll play that out just so you see the nice little checkmate that he's come up with because the queen takes, and that's mate. Um, so now the queen takes, and that's mate. So, lost that one. So I've won one, lost one. I've got a lot of ground to make up here, so let's see. Finally get white, I'll play my English. Going for a reverse Sicilian setup. set up for me. So I didn't really want the bishop there, but I knew it usually invokes this kind of move out of black, and 
giving any sort of weakness on their king side is usually a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead. I can castle, but I can castle whenever, so I'm just trying to, to build a little pressure if I can before fully committing, because in reality I can actually stick around in the middle of the board and uh, play in the center with my king, usually, or sometimes. Just chasing this bishop into a less active square. Oh, interesting. Alright, I'll trade that off. Castling at all, pushing up to go to king d2. and then go F4. his bishop. Making knight takes bishop. Or I might try and keep my knight. My knight is better than his bishop, so I just keep this knight in here. It's kind of annoying. to go somewhere. I don't love his knight here. I don't love that knight there. Do I push here in the center? He takes... So I need to set that up a little better. his knight. Okay, that weakens this knight because it's only got the pawn protecting it now. Uh, let's see. Let's 
let's move this way. Maybe we'll shove these pawns. Bring the bishop over, maybe. Alright, so let's just close that side of the board. This knight is looking really silly now. This would be a great square for his knight, but he's going to have a really tough time getting a, a piece there. Alright, so immediately when he moves a piece, I think about what did that weaken. So this piece is weaker, can I capitalize on it? Not yet, but that's the type of thing I think about when I see a move is what did that weaken? So like for me, I just weakened this square a little bit. I had a bishop on it still, so that's okay though. And there's nothing he can do to attack it, so. All right, he's trying to reroute that knight because it was so bad. Let's go ahead see if we can undermine his knight. Let's come here. I don't know that I love this idea though. So I was thinking doing this, this, and then putting the bishop here. But I just wreck this whole nice little three pawns that I have in the middle of the board, and why would I do that? Um, so maybe I need to do something else. Um, let's see. Let's just stop his movement over there on the A file. Let's see. How can I get... This seems like a nice square for my queen. But I'm still dealing with babysitting this pawn here from this knight. However, this knight can't take this pawn, because that would leave the, the knight hanging. So let's go ahead and offer the pawn. And then if he takes, we'll take the knight. And if he doesn't, we can give check here. Now my queen feels much more active. Thinking if I can get my queen to that square, I can pick up the free bishop. Oh, that's interesting. All right, now I'm thinking sacking the queen. Queen, knight, rook, check. King goes here. And I just don't have enough pieces over there. So. I don't see a way to sack the queen. And gain an advantage. So let's just go ahead. And continue the original plan. Moving the queen around.
do think I could check the... Oh, so he's hitting the bishop. Um, let's see, if I take the rook, knight takes rook, or rook takes knight, knight takes knight, queen takes knight. And then... Queen gives checkmate on g7. All right, we're going to do it. I'm going to sack the rook. For those of you that just went shouted, he sacked the rook. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an old guy. There's the rook sack. Take the queen back. Take back with the queen. This bishop is doing a really good job. So there's the checkmate, guys. Yep, now it's just waiting for him to figure out that it's checkmate. Yep, he figured it out. All right. So, that was a good one. That was positive for me. All right, uh, this guy wants to do a rematch. Let's let him. All right, so we'll switch colors. I'm almost up to 1800 again. Is he going to take? Like, this is a weird idea. I see people do this, and I don't really understand what they're trying to accomplish with it. It's never, never been a problem for me, so I don't know. Maybe he's hoping I do something like this, but I don't usually find that terribly useful. So let's go here with maybe a B pawn push. Okay, definitely a B pawn push now. Castled on opposite sides. I'm going to shove these pawns as, about as fast as I can. Um, so let's see, let's get my knight to a square that it can't be attacked again super quickly. Because now he's got to deal with this bishop. Now I'm thinking either a5 or b4 right now. b4 forces the knight to get more active. I don't want that yet. Um, so let's just shove pawns. Bishop is probably going to end up over here. So, if I take with the queen, bishop takes. I can give check with the queen, and then, yeah, that works. So, taking here, he's going to come here, think he's won my rook. But in the actuality, he wins my rook because my knight's taking away the retreat square there. So we can check. Let's see. All right, well, let's, because I think now he loses the bishop, right? Hmm. So yes, I just gave up this bishop, but I don't think he had time to take it, because that would have been a really 
forcing attack there. Bishop comes in with check now. Looking at something like this. Maybe this is an idea. Maybe this is an idea. All right, so let's go for that idea. Have to be careful. He puts his rook behind and this gets to be a really weak square. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. So let's see, where can I put things? I retreat my queen. I've got nowhere I can pull the queen back and protect this square. So can I pull it back somewhere and attack? That's going to be game. So. I go here and he's got checkmate. I've got nothing else. So that's too bad. Alright. So. Played a few games. I don't think I've made much progress. Let's do one last one. See if I can gain something back. So. E4 here. Uh, C4 here I mean. I keep trying new new things. I don't love playing the uh, yeah that that didn't work. Um, I don't love the French setup against the English. It just aggravates me. Um, so I keep trying to find different ways to to play against it, and uh, I think I found another way to not play against it. I gave away a pawn. I've given away a tempo. I am playing really poorly. So let's see if I can catch up on development. Um, a square to go to. Right. Try and get my knight a little more active now that I've moved it three times. So I can't do my usual fianchetto, because if he pushes, he just wins the, uh, the piece there. So let's do something weird. Alright. That gives me three on the pawn, so I can go ahead and win it. Back in this game, back to even. Still a little behind in development though. Let's come back here. 
So I thought about trading the knight and then the bishop, but the queen comes out and I'm not in any real better position here. So my one problem that I really need to solve right now is how do I get my king castled without losing a lot of either material or time. So the bishop is tied to protecting this piece here. Um, let's just go f3. Takes away squares from the knight. Takes away squares from the bishop. Pretty much committing that my bishop's going to come out this way. So maybe a castle. Maybe a castle over here. And then shove my pawns. That might be an idea. Yeah, let's do it. Might be crazy enough to work. this knight move, but it doesn't actually do anything. So I'm still trying to think where's the best place for the bishop to go. Maybe here? Maybe here? Maybe here, and then that supports the push. Right, let's just tie up the center, or the, the queen side here. Make it hard for him to uh, try and penetrate. start pushing my pawns on the uh, king side. Let's see. What would I? Yeah, he's got a half open file. I guess he can use it. Let's go ahead and continue our plan. So something that I think I forget to do is I play pretty decently a quick game. Um, I've been slowing down a lot trying to do good commentary, which I haven't been doing a good job of. So not only have I not been playing good chess, but I've not been giving good commentary, and that's the worst of both worlds. So maybe I just play a little faster. Give a little less commentary because it's not great commentary anyway um, and maybe my games will improve a little bit but we'll see so now i'm thinking knight could come here bishops on the long diagonal here give away the pawn oh Okay, so we didn't like the knight there. I'm surprised he went for that though. That seems good for me. My bishop's active, my queen's active. My pawns are about to, to break open his king side. And I'm gonna be able to swing my rook back over and have two rooks pointing. So 
I just gave away this pawn, but I don't know that I'm worried about it, because if the queen comes there, I'm just going to kick it away. I give away that one, then. That's a lot. That might not be good. All right. All right. If I sack the bishop, pawn takes push the pawn. He's either going to push or take. Probably push. Then I can push again. Alright, that seems interesting enough to try. Let's try. Sacking the bishop. It's got to take, right? All right, let's push. Really trying to put some pressure on him. Now if I still had a knight, that would be a great place to put a knight. So he's got a he's got a push past taking doesn't work. Oh. That's an interesting idea. So we'll push anyway. So the reason he went here is because he wanted to keep my queen out. So now it's going to take me another move or two to root my queen in somewhere in these squares. Now, I did go down a, a bishop for a pawn to get this position. So if I don't get something out of it, I'll probably end up losing. Maybe I can just do the rook here and then swing him. That's a lot of moves though. Okay, took the pawn. All right, we'll continue the slow plan until I get a better one. So this knight is doing a good job of keeping me out of there. All right, let's pull the queen back. So I was thinking this, but I do have to be careful about where this rook goes, because this pawn could become weak. So, just got to pay attention to that. Okay, it's interesting. So now, put the rook there. He takes, I take, he takes, I take, and I'm back in the game. Oh, okay. So we didn't take. So now the question is, is do I take his rook or do 
I push the pawn or do I do something else completely different? Let's support and then I think I can push and I really get some material. So now I think he takes He doesn't have any checks. Yeah, I think that's good for me. And I'm way up on the clock. All right, and now I think he's just lost. Because now I can bring my queen in. Or do I do bring the rook in? I think the queen goes. Queen, he's got to go there. And let's see. How do I finish this off? Queen check, rook up. Or uh, king up, then rook. King goes running. Let's see. Can't go there. Yeah, let's go here. Check. And let's see. He's got this pawn push that'll be annoying in a minute. Um Let's just try and go for mate. Ooh, am I going to get mated over here? Check. King up. Check. Oh, he missed it. All right. I'll take a gift. I'll take a gift. I think that might have been checkmate. I think he might have had a checkmate there, but he just gave it back to me. All right. Let's take a look at that two moves ago. Uh, let's see. So where was it? It was right there at the end. I went rook here. Yep. So he missed a, a mate in three. So there's check. I come here. There's check. Um... And then it doesn't matter which way I go. There's checkmate. So. Yes, he missed checkmate. So what was I supposed to do here? Let's see. I definitely am winning. Let's see. What should I have done here? Not entirely sure. No, I don't know right now. I'll have to come back and look at that. All right, I got one more in me, and we'll call that the end. So, won't get to 2,000 today, but maybe I can break, maybe I can break 1,800 again. some rapid development. I sacrificed a pawn, but now I'm really eyeing this square. I'm attacking this pawn. So he got a couple. He got a couple of pawns in the opening, but I don't think he's going to be happy about it in the end. There's checkmate right now if he doesn't see it. So 
we block the checkmate that I had. So I've gained a pawn now, so I got my pawn back with interest. Now his queen's got to go somewhere. He might try and offer a queen trade. That doesn't work though, because if I take the queen, he takes the queen, then I take back and I've won a piece, right? Yeah, that wins me a piece. Yeah, I'm up a piece and a pawn now. That was that was good for me. Any disconnect? Right, there we go. All right, back over 1800. We'll take a few more sessions of grinding to get to uh, 2000 again. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe. Hopefully, you like the new audio. Coming up, we'll have a special treat. We're gonna do a joint uh, operation with another YouTube channel. So um, look forward to uh, trying that out. So keep playing chess. We'll see you in the future.